Do you know 90% of people fail this mathematics? Now, you are welcome to this channel. I want us to work out this, the method that they use that made them fail them. We have 3 plus 2 multiplied by 50 subtract from 7. So the method that they used, the first method was that they took it this way. They had 3, add to 2, multiply by 50, subtract from 7. So what they do, they say that this one is equals to 3 plus 2. And then they got it as a 6, then multiply by 50, subtract from, from 7. Then the next part was that they now said that 6 multiplied by 5 is 300, subtract from 7. And their answer was 293. So that one was their answer. So the question is, do you think that this maths problem, they work it out properly? You can pause this video, then calculate your own, then we see or we compare the answers as after this. I believe that once you've calculated and you got the right procedure, you'll find 293 as the, as the wrong answer. Why am I saying this? Let's use the correct method. So let's move to the solution. So for us to use the correct method, we are going to have what is called the, the board mass. Why do we have the board mass? We are having the board mass because this math problem has got various types of, of uh, com opus. We have the addition, we have the multiplication, and we have the subtraction. So you must follow the correct order of operations. Let's begin and write our solution. So we have 3, add to 2, multiply by 50, subtract from 7. So the first part that you need to do is that we need to check the the, the board mass B stands for bracket, O stands for of, and D stands for division. So these three we don't have. We don't have the board mass here. We don't have the sign for of, and we don't have the signs for division. The only sign that you are having is the sign for, for the multiplication part of it. And so we need to start with this multiplication. So here we shall say that this one is equals to three, then add two, then we should work out this operation that is 2 multiplied by 50 where now we shall have 100 subtract from 7 so the next step that you need to work out we need now to work out on the side for our our addition sign this sign for a and in our addition sign we no longer we now have 3 add to 100 and our answer is 103 then now we subtract from from 7 so the last one that is subtraction is working out this math problem that is 103 subtract from 7 so when you work out 103 subtract from 7 i know that the answer that you guys you've got is 96 so the correct answer now falls at 96 we can compare these two answers the one for 96 for 293 so this one is correct because it follows the correct order of operation this one most people got wrong because they didn't follow the correct order of operation so let us stop there see you in the next video bye bye remember to subscribe and like this video thank you